I have been sleeping for at most four hours every day. So parang kailangan matulog mo na siya before I get to sleep. I was like, oh, did I make the right decision? Is this the right thing for me? Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ochi. I do videos on food, travel, and lifestyle. For today's A Day in the Life episode, I am so sorry if it's so casual. I am in my dresser, I'm still in my pajamas, and to be honest, this is kind of like my day off, so I haven't had enough sleep for the past week, so pardon me if I'm going to be a bit loopy in some of the parts that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I have been sleeping for at most 4 hours every day. Before you speculate even further, yes, I am a mom, but I'm not a mom to a human baby. I am a mom to a dog. <laughs> I am a fur mom now. So, ever since I was little, I was never really fond of dogs because when I was 6 and we were vacationing in Cavite over at my Tita's house, a dog ran after me and then I just had to like climb this structure para hindi niya ako mahabol. And then ever since then, I was just like really so scared of dogs. I mean, who wouldn't, right? If there was a dog, I'd probably run uh, before they run after me. But in 2015, we got this dog from my cousin's wife. His name is Booby and ever since Booby came into our lives, I bridged that gap between being scared of dogs and actually loving them. So that's how I came into actually loving dogs and being able to touch them. So the first time we had Booby at home, I was super skeptical if I can pet him. I was so grossed out because of the fur and all, but now I just love that dog to bits. So anyway, that was my story. So that's how I was able to sort of maneuver my fear of dogs into like loving them because I mean who wouldn't love them? They're so adorable and they love you. They don't ask for anything. I started to have thoughts of wanting to have my own dog when um, I was heartbroken in 2014. If you guys watch Friends, you know that episode where Monica was heartbroken with Richard and she wanted to have a baby, right? So I'm not sure if you all know this, but I don't want kids. So when I was heartbroken in 2014, I wanted to have a dog. <laughs> and I was like, I have so much love to give. I want someone to give it to. And then I realized I don't really want someone to give it to. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. But at that time, again, I was living in a condo. You know, the space is not very conducive for dogs. Well, I do have friends who keep their dogs in a condo. As a first time pet owner, I just don't feel like it's the optimum space for me. So I didn't really get one at that time. But every time I would get heartbroken, I would say, I want a dog, I have so much love to give, blah, blah, blah. But you know, looking back, I know that I was just wanting a dog because of all the wrong reasons. Because I was lonely, because I wanted to care for something and because I just want to fill that void. It was good that I didn't get a dog just because I was heartbroken and because of all of those reasons. Because number one, getting a dog is such a huge responsibility. If you're heartbroken and you get a dog and you're not emotionally, physically, mentally, financially ready for it, you're probably in for a big surprise. So I'm just so glad that my EQ was pretty okay at that time and I didn't sort of force myself into getting a dog. But fast forward to 2020, um, I was already thinking of getting a dog because living in this area of our neighborhood, it's safe, but there were a series of burglaries in this area. So we have CCTVs outside. Sometimes I get scared at night. Sometimes I feel like I hear something else and I just don't want to be scared, <laughs> you know, when someone or like a stranger or like if a creep comes around and I'm like low. Fast forward to 2021, I got myself finally a dog. So I am financially ready, emotionally ready, physically ready to actually own one because I can take care of it. So that was my mindset before, right? And then came the dog. So I got myself a beagle because my sister's boyfriend, they had a couple of beagles, like the mom beagle just gave birth and they were like selling all of the dogs because they're going to take care of them. And then, before selling this one, the one that we got, Chewy is her name. So before they were about to sell Chewy, they sort of felt that the owner that they were selling it to wasn't really going to take care of her. So they backed out and they were asking if you know anyone would want to take her in. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been wanting the dog, I've been thinking about it, but 
I've been saving up for something else quite bigger, so I didn't quite entertain the idea yet. So I was like, should I get her? Should we get her? And then we got her. So I did my research about beagles. They're very high energy pups. They're very active. They're very loud because they howl. So like, yeah, I did read all of those before getting one, but I didn't realize the gravity of how much it would affect me once I get one. Being a fur mom is a lot like being a mom to a human being. I just want to share <laughs> like the pros and cons of uh, getting a pup. So two months old Nisha, and I am not sure if it's the best time to really get a pup because I've been reading some comments saying that parang dapat kasama pa rin sila ng mommy but what, what can we do? We already have her. <laughs> some of the things that I struggled with when I was taking care of my fur baby is that I wanted to control everything. So from pooping to peeing, I was so frustrated because I sort of wanted to keep a schedule and then I kept talking to her telling her about our schedule, telling her about where she should pee, but apparently it's not that easy. So <laughs> that frustrated me because I'm a level one controller and I get really upset when things don't go my way. So it was really frustrating and I'm very OC when it comes to cleaning also. So you can just imagine, I was crying on the third day of having her because I have to mop the floor 12 to 15 times a day. I was using alcohol, different types of cleaner, and then I have to mop the floor again. And then I, after I mopped the floor, she would pee again. So I was like, girl, what am I doing wrong? I was so frustrated because I just wanted to be a good mom and I just wanted her to sort of follow the schedule but I also realized I was so uptight and when I started to loosen up a little bit then I think that's when we really drive so other things that I really struggled with as I was acclimating her to the home is her sleep schedule Arang she wakes up in the middle of the night she wakes up usually at 12 midnight 2 a.m. and then 5 a.m. I usually wake up at around 7 or 8 and then I work out, prepare my breakfast, and then go along with my day. Chewy's sleeping schedule being like that, I wasn't able to follow my own routine anymore. So it has been a week of having her and I haven't worked out, I haven't had a decent meal, I haven't had a decent sleep, and it's just all ruined. But <laughs> I'm quite happy like, when I look at her. She's so cute, she's so cuddly, and she knows now how to sit. I'll wait, like, you have to give her a lot of treats, but she does know how to sit now. So, other things that I struggled with also was teaching her how to poop. So, I've watched a ton of YouTube videos, I have read a ton of articles about potty training a dog, and I don't know, it's just hard I guess because I'm a first time pet owner, I've spoken to friends and so far with pooping, we're not quite there yet but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> Other things that I am struggling with is the smell. Dogs have this certain smell and um, I don't want to leave her outside because I feel like it's too dangerous or the outside is too dangerous. So what I do is I leave her inside of the house. So we have a playpen and we have a crate and she just stays there. I know a lot of people are against crate training but I feel like as a first time mom based on my research, it does help the dog have a certain mentality of where she has to sleep, eat, poop and it gives her a sense of schedule and I don't know what your thoughts are about crate training but for me it is a huge help as a new mom but if you guys have any suggestions feel free to let me know. Another thing that I'm having a hard time with when it comes to Chewy is that she just bites everything. So the vet said she's teething kaya kung ano makita niya, kinakagat niya talaga. So we can't really let her out of the house at this point or at this early because she's gonna bite everything and it's not safe for her. She has been vaccinated 6 in 1, twice pa lang, and the worm is complete, everything is complete, but the vet said we can't really let her out out yet. I mean, hindi pa complete yung vaccine. So I'm just keeping her in a playpen. Her playpen is big naman. It's not like you know, I'm constricting her movements and whatnot. So she's good. She's all good in the hood. In the beginning when I got her, so I went to this pet store, I got all of her necessities. We got the playpen, we got the crate, we got the feeding bowl and everything else. That was, I didn't realize that as a pop, she would need a lot of toys. So eventually, I realized that I have to buy her a lot of toys because 
again she's teething and she needs the chew on a lot of things another thing that i was so OC about was the cleanliness of her toys i would disinfect her toys every day and then put them back in the cage and then dumi -dumi na naman. i would get super stressed about it same goes for her blankets i used to give her blankets all the time but then she would pee or poop on it and then i have to wash it in the morning so parang naging ganun yung routine ko for the past week i would wake up check on chewy feed her poop ko siya and then while she's playing in the uh, playpen linisin yung mga toys linisin yung cage linisin yung blanket and laundry all of her things so that it's clean and then i would get super frustrated because not even like an hour into putting them back marumi na naman sila ulit. one good lesson about Owning a pet is that there are things we cannot control and we just have to learn to adapt and work around it. So as a level one controller, just like I mentioned, it was really hard for me, but I can see how it was affecting my health. Like, hindi na talaga ako natutulog. So can you guys imagine moms to human beings, how hard it is? Like, thanks mom. That's how hard it has been for me, but it's also very rewarding. Like, there was one time I was breaking down and then I picked her up and she was like licking my face. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Not realizing before that that she just ate her own poop with that mouth and then she was kissing me all over. Owning a dog is such a huge responsibility. Taking care of a dog is very exhausting. Again, you have to be very ready of a lot of things. But one thing I can say is that they're very intuitive. They're very caring. They're very lovable like especially my beagle i don't know pero sobrang clingy siya for example i have to leave the room she sort of have this puppy dog eyes like mom don't leave me sometimes i feel like i have to sleep and she's still awake so parang kailangan matulog muna siya before i get to sleep and literally i'm telling you i was crying because i couldn't take the stress of owning a pet i was like oh did i make the right decision is this the right thing for me and then I realized when I started relinquishing control and letting things just flow and not being too uptight about it, the cleaning, the dogs are supposed to smell a certain way and you know, things just fell right onto place. So there, that's it, my new life as a fur mom. I know she stinks so much sometimes but you know, um, I still hug her. One thing that surprised me as well, if I can just say before I end this vlog is, uh, I hate having dog fur on my clothes and I hate having that kind of smell on my clothes. But there was one time, Chewie was crying and she wanted me to pick her up. She's so clean, so she wanted me to pick her up. And I was like, oh damn, but I just wore this, um, you know, this dress and it's black and your fur is gonna be all over it. But like I picked her up and then just uh, cradled her in my arms, made her sleep because she likes and she likes you to pet her when she's going to sleep. Para talaga siyang baby, so parang pinipet ko siya. I was like, oh, go sleep. Tapos parang meron pa siyang lullabies when she goes to sleep. She loves music box um, lullabies and I have a playlist on Spotify like sleeping music for dogs so she can't sleep pag hindi naka on yung music niya na yun so I was like oh my gosh I love this being I love this doggo so much and it's okay the stress is okay the exhaustion is okay everything else is okay if I get to see her smell like this every day right so that's it that's my dog story I know it may not have been what you have been expecting, but like, that's it for this vlog. See you in my next one. Bye!